please have your baggage ready for inspection. Where's your gun, you paddy bastard? Hey, hey! You got hung for this, you little shit. All right, lad. come on, come on, lad. In you go. You're the Irish bloke they was talking about. IRA and all that. Fucking hell. I'm Charlie Millwall. Into a bit of thieving. I don't like fucking sailors. <laughs> <laughs> I love your Irish accent, China. <laughs> Who are you bringing the stuff to? A known farmer. Do you know what happens when we hang you? You swing there at the end of a rope with the biggest hard on you've ever had. Only it's too late. You're dead, you've never had any. Ever been with a girl, Brendan? You do like girls, don't you, Brendan? Maybe he doesn't like girls. No? What's he doing with this then, eh? <laughs> That's not mine. We need to know your contact in this murder gang. The IRA is not a murder gang. Then why have they been hanged for murder? They're dying for the country. IRA men on the wing. Condemned men on the wing. Brendan. Brendan. You all right, mate? 
they were p putting a rope around my neck. Just a dream, mate. That's all it is. Just a dream. No. I can feel it tightening. Bad dream, that's all it is. It's just a bad dream, Brendan. You're gonna be all right, China. Away from me, do you hear? No, 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 no. You, you was fighting the zoo, that's all. No, 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 no. You stay away from me. Stay away from me. The girl said she was 17. I had no idea she was so young. I'm very sorry, my lord. Three years, Boston. Next. Three sodden years. But... Listen. Apologize to the judge. Agree to cooperate. And you could be back home in Dublin by the end of the week. You stand accused of the most heinous and vile conspiracy. It would give me nothing but pleasure to don my black cap and pronounce the severest sentence under the law. I came here to fight the Irish workers and small farmers' republic. I will not allow political speeches in the republic. Hey, they can hang you, Irish, or what? I'm underage. I got four-year borstal. Have them all, Mortimer. Safe journey. Yes, sir. We have three civilians, two naval ratings, sir, reporting for detention. Excellent. Yes, sir. Well, that's the ticket. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, boys. Straighten up. Hands out of your pockets there now. Come on. Lock him up. Wait, he's in for a rather unpleasant time. Gentlemen, there's not much point in escaping. In you go, Josh. In the first place, it's so easy, there's no glory to it. Second, the army are laying minefields, so it's jolly dangerous to be wandering about. And third, the military is just up the road, so uh, having caused everyone a great deal of bother, you will be brought back. So uh, don't sneak off without telling me. I trust we shall have no further use of chains. You are Boston boys now. Are you the IRA boy? Yes, sir. Yes, I understand you had a rather rough time in Waltham. Well, that's all behind you now, so uh, keep your nose clean and you'll do fine. Carry on, Chief. Right, you lot. Tension! Hey, 
like this. Jesus. Do you feel like a kid or what? <laughs> you got that right. Ella, we've got some yodic roots. All right, chaps. Just get your stuff organized beside the bed that you want. All right? I'll have this one. No, oh, sir, that's my bed. Was. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry. I'm in charge now. All right. Hey. What's his story? Polish Jew. Caught stowed away in a British ship. Why aren't you wearing shorts? Head boy in each hut wears longs. Brendan, how comes a Yiddin as an Irish song? No, it's a German song. My granny taught it to me. That's your granny from Germany? <laughs> no, she's Irish, but she's a communist. And she knows every song from here to China and back. I wish I had a granny like that. Oi! You! What's your name? Millwall, sir. Put your back into it, Millwall. This is not an holiday camp. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> How long are you in for? These Germans come. I am dead. I must get to Palestine. Say I am safe. You'd be safer in a neutral country, like Ireland. Neutral? What is neutral? He's not in the war. That's our way out. Come on, lad. You escape. Ben. No, not for a while. There's someone I have to talk to first. Come on, let's not go all day. Where the hell's my tobacco? Who's a thief? 
Look, I got a whole pack and it's gone. Maybe the pig took it, Mac, eh? Who far did you get when you escaped? What? <clears throat> you thinking of escaping? No way, me here, no. I'm the expert escaper around here. How far did you get? About five miles. I mean, the whole area's been cleared of civilians in case of an invasion. Of course, only country bastard I meet's got a shotgun and a bloodhound. Couldn't believe it. Where were you headed for? Train station. If I can get to Glasgow, nobody will find me. Never. Never. <laughs> what? They found you easy enough the first time, didn't they? Hey, nobody's escaped from here without me, right? I've got a reputation to protect. This is my escape. I decide who goes. <laughs> what makes you so special? I'm a POW. It's my duty to escape. Ooh, it's a POW. <laughs> Prisoner of war. Well, if we're going to do it, we need to do it right, you know what I mean? Get rid of these rags, get the proper clothes and that. The first thing we need is a map. We need to know where we're going, Jock. A map. Where are we going to get a map? It is a rather unusual request. These things are very hard to come by in wartime, but um, we'll do our best. Thank you, sir. It doesn't matter if it's a second hand ball, sir. Uh, once it's a ball, um, um, you know, any type of real ball, sir. Once it bounces, sir. Yes, sir. Do not see what this war's got to do with you, you Canadian. What about Hitler? We've all got to fight Hitler. Excuse me, miss. You dropped something. Oh, thank you. Charlie Millwall at your service, miss. Thank you, Charlie. He's a cheeky bastard. Just thinking about it is enough to have your brick cut off. <laughs> Charlie. See, what you buggers don't understand is that uh, women are gagging for it. <laughs> Not from the likes of you, you big Scottish puff. Yeah. Hey, there's no poof does. <laughs> Up north. Can't say the same for in here. <laughs> ah, we've got a lovely bit of scud waiting for me in Glasgow. That's why I'm going to escape. Got to. Bet she's not as juicy as the one I did. You what? He's in for rape, isn't he? Good, was she? <sighs> oh, better than you lot could ever imagine. Bobby Amel and our corner got married at 16. He gets it every night. Married? But a mug. You see, the best part is taking it when it's not being offered. I won't mind having a go at the governor's daughter. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> Hello, Dad. Elizabeth. I'm home. Mm. Mm. As you insisted. <sighs> well, you can't stay in London in the middle of the Blitz. If in Paris it wasn't for this stupid war. You can't blame me for the Germans being in Paris. I blame all men for war. Don't talk nonsense, Elizabeth. I'm an artist. How am I expected to paint here? Well, if you're really serious about it, well, surely you can paint anywhere. You're hopeless. Elizabeth. Look, Dad, don't treat me like one of your prisoners. What are we looking for? Uh, you know, a map book. What kind of book would that be? Ah, book where pictures are. 
Just pictures. Comic books over there. Brilliant. Great, thanks. And you're our uh, Irish rebel, am I right? Only one, as far as I know. The very thing for you. The life of Oscar Wilde. By Frank Harris. I'm not interested in Oscar Wilde. Blasphemy. Fellow Irishman, <laughs> fellow jailbird and rebel. You know what he was done for, don't you? I know there aren't any songs about him, which is odd for a rebel. He was put in jail for buggering the son of the Marcus of Queensbury. Shocking. What? He was no Irishman if he was up to that caper. No. Local history. What do you got in local history? Huh. Hmm. Let's see. Let's be good. Look at Brian China. You have this line itself a screw me, I'll take it. It's yours, yeah. Man. How foreign as I am. Why are you being such a prick? You took care of me up in Morton Jail. I took care of you. We're meant to look out for each other. That's what friends are for, isn't it? You're not my friend. on a splendid wrestling final. Millwall, uh, we have a small prize for you, which I know will come in useful. Oh, open it. Someone must have sat on it. <laughs>
friends. That's all. I don't want any of that China stuff, right? China plate, mate. This rhyming slang. That's... See, if you're my friend, I can call you China anytime I like, yeah? You understand that? Oh. Oh. Ooh, it's like ice Brandon. Oh, oh, it's freezing. It's freezing. Oh, it's like they have to circle in here. Ooh. I'm not clear. I like girls. I knew that from the beginning. How did you know? Why are you here? My hair. How can you tell by my hair? You split the wrong side. Those queers, we split it the other way. So we know one another. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oi! You want some? Oh, oh come it's on! This is the show lights. Oi, 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 oi. taking me with you. What? When you start, you're taking me along. Yay! I can't believe it. That's sacrilege, what they're doing. Hey, you boys! Don't do that in front of a Welshman! All is meant for throwing, not kicking. Yeah, do it here. Come on, come on, come on. Get the ball. Hey, boys, get the line. Lay it across there. Lay it across the field. Lay it across the field. The boys, you hold the ball firmly and pass like that. That's done. That's done. Boys, that's what you call rugby. Good. It's kind of like American football. You want to give it a shot? I leave English games to the English. I'm on it. Oh, you see, you're like bloody mice in a barrel. Right, boys, I've got to form a proper scrum. Right? We're going to get cheek to cheek, and I don't mean ballroom dancing. It's not about your cheek, it's the other man's backside. Right, boys? Down and get out. Right, boys, hold it, 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 hold no sex offenders. Proper decent criminals only. Oh, come on, then. Irish? Oh, nice. No all. Oh, one more, then. So, Jock. Right, follow me, then. OK, lads, in here. Lovely. <laughs> It's a dumpster. No way. No way. There you go, miss. Thank you, Chief. My father insists I can make this a studio. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. A coat of paint. You won't know this place. Aye. You know, obviously, all this timber's going to need replaced, then that, but... A bit of plastering over there. No, it's a problem. Talking about lights and problem, there's plenty of light. It, it, it's, it's facing east, which, which makes it bright in the morning, but, but dark in the afternoon. You see, an artist needs an even light. Does he want me? So, you know what you're talking about. I always know what I'm talking about. And where do you learn about light? 
My people are all painters. Really? Anyone I would have heard of? House painters. My mother had her picture painted once. It's hanging in the National Gallery of Ireland. M -m -m maybe you've seen it. No, no, I've never been to Ireland. Well, at least you had a mother. I never knew mine. No, mother. So uh, terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I was brought up in an orphanage. I just hope someday I'll ever get on my own. I'm sure you will, Charlie. Just get on with it, Millwall. You were never an orphan. Oi, you didn't know my mother. I used to dream of being an orphan. Anyway, she seemed to like it, didn't she? Well, I tell you, there's no way I'm slaving away for the upper class bitch. I'm no skivvy. Nah. What does every escape operation need? Don't know. A headquarters. Hey, Brandon. Look here. Hey. What do you think you're playing up, brown eyes? Come on. Well done. Hello, Brandon. Hello. This is Lieutenant Kidd from the Army base. This is Brandon. He's building me a studio. Oh, you're the Paddy. My father served in Ireland. So did mine. Really? What regiment? Force Battalion, Dublin Brigade, Irish Republican Army. Oh, IRA. David, why don't you challenge Brendan the boys to a game of rugger? Well... Are you up to it? Of course. Hold on, I only have a bit, just you. Leave him. Damn. Useless Jew, boy. Come on back. Bet me a bottle of whiskey that you don't score in the second half. Come on. There's more than a runner at stake. What? Let's go.
The luck of the Irish. Elizabeth? His Majesty the King, accompanied by Mr. Churchill, tore the devastated streets of Coventry. Suffer the most vicious and indiscriminate attacks of Hitler's look. <laughs> this was Coventry Cathedral. The cathedral spire and the font remain. The rest is rubble. The king comforted some mm -hmm. of the many who had lost their homes with the German terror bombing. <sighs> With this guy. The people's spirit is magnificent, and everything possible has been done to relieve their suffering. The plucky people of Coventry assured the Prime Minister the industrial heart of the works in the laundry. <laughs> so we're gonna nick some civilian clothes. <laughs> we're on our way, China. We're on our way. All right, everyone. Only a mile to go. Come on, lads, no slacking. What's the matter with you, Jock? Sick, sir. Is there a little bit too much cake, sir? Yes, sir, too much cake. <laughs> I'm a woman disgraced by you. Saturday, so no one will raise the alarm till Sunday. Yeah. If we get to the rail line, we have a chance. Mm. Yeah. Shh. If we hop afraid, it's gotta work. Shh. Well, well, well. Hey. Who's here? Hello, boys. Planning a little trip, are we? This is nothing to do with you, Dale. I'm taking over. I'm going instead of the Jew. Piss off, Dale. You shouldn't be siding with foreigners against your own. James is going instead of you. <laughs> so why are you? Come on, Dale! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is my escape. No Jews, and no queers. So, Brendan, we got a deal. It's not fair, Brendan. Life's not fair, Charlie. When do we go? Next Saturday night. Good. Aye. Thanks a lot, China.
gave you the bleeding map. Will you yes. the map? Ah, come on, bastard. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shh. This is not a map, but I know. Come on, lads. Irish bastard! I should have known! I should have known he was a traitor! How many, Chief? There are five boys not accounted for, sir. Oh, 
Amen. Sir, you're with the Prince of Wales. Yes, sir. She's head of her action. Wouldn't you rather be with her? Absolutely, sir. Well, you request transfer back. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. Very much, sir. Well. So that about? Apparently, my ship's heading for action. Oh. You gone? Difficult choice, Brendan. As a prisoner of war, it was my duty to escape. Oh, I see. So now two boys are dead. Yes, sir. But nothing to say for yourself, Milbourne? I was just sticking by my china, sir. So if he jumped off a bridge, you'd follow? Yes, sir. You boys are going to have to live with this for the rest of your lives. But you do have a choice. You can carry on as before, skulking about like thieves and liars, in which case you will spend the rest of your lives in prison. Or you can take a good, long, hard look at yourselves and take responsibility for your actions and their consequences. So make your choice. Three months' detention, or... Your word that you will make a new start. What will it be? I bet you thought it was really clever of you to jump your escape, didn't you? Hey? Hey? Can't hear ya. Get off him, you bastard! Get off me! Get off me! What's going on here? Nothing, sir, nothing. Just having a bad dream, that's all. You all right, Bill?
coming on. Here. Just a sketch. Is it up to honor? Make a good wanted poster. You must feel terrible about your friends. About killing him, you mean? It wasn't your fault, Brendan. Your father thinks it was. Each man kills the thing he loves. What, what, what do you mean? The coward does it with a kiss. The brave man with a sword. <laughs> What's that? It's Oscar Wilde. The Ballad of Reading Jail. You should read it. Yeah, miss. Yeah. Here's a picture, yeah? You keep it, Charlie. Definitely fancies me. What are you reading then, Irish? Oscar Wilde. Bloody puffed at that one. Wasn't he a jailbird like myself? Give an answer for everything, haven't you, Irish? Where's it from? It's from me granny. She misses me. <laughs> I was always her favorite. Yeah. Yeah. She gave me this. It's Brendan the Navigator. He's a patron saint of sailors. And I'm the bleeding sailor. <laughs> so you should. Nah. Come on. Take it. No, I can't take that. I can't. Of course you can. Now the navigator will keep you safe. It's wonderful. It's not done yet. I don't know what to say. How can I ever repay you? Some booze, cigarettes. Would you reckon Brandon some food? I'd love to put on a play. Play? What? Yeah, a play. Do you think your father would let us? What, the Christmas pantomime? What? What? Like Cinderella? What do you mean? <laughs> That's a great idea. No. I was thinking of something by Oscar Wilde. And you want me to ask? Is that the idea? Yeah. <laughs> I hope tomorrow will be a fine day. It never, it, it, it never is, sir. Lame, you're a perfect pessimist. I, I, I do my, I do my best to, to, get, give, sa, 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 satisfaction. I, I do my best to give satisfaction, sir. That's great, Jock. Yeah, good stuff. Now in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who am I going to get to play the girls? Well, frankly, I've always felt I was born to play a great lady, so perhaps I could be your Lady Bracknell. Yeah. Then the only question is, who is to play Gwendolyn and Cecily? to tell someone that you like them, don't you find? I mean, it's so hard to find the right words.
Do I know this person? Yes. You have to tell him. What if he doesn't feel the same? There's only one way to find out. Tell him. Okay, come on, quickly. I've got to be pressed tonight. <laughs> Yeah, good. Look. I think you look like a proper little madam. <laughs> a little bracknell and Miss Perfax. So. <laughs> I'm fine, Aunt Augustus. Thank you. Thank you. I have some questions for you. Do you sniff? Well, yes. I must admit I smoke. I'm glad to hear it. A man should always have an occupation of some kind. How old are you? I am 29, Lady Bracknell. A very good age to be married yet. Oh, good. Preparing the teaser. You think we should marry them? Yes. I mean, no. Uh... Your, Your Christian, Christian names are still, still in a suitable barrier. barrier. That is all. Our Christian names? Is that all? But we'd be christened this afternoon. For my sake, you're prepared to do this terrible thing? I am. To please me, you're ready to face this fearful ordeal? I am. Darling. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Gwendolyn! What does this mean? Merely that I'm engaged to be married. It seems you are displaying signs of triviality. On the contrary, Aunt Augusta. For the first time in my life, I finally realized the vital importance of being honest.
Oh, come on, I'll look after you. I'd like to. I can't. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. You crack me up every time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Charles Miller. <laughs> now, get your lips round that, boys. What is it? Where'd you get it? Take the keys to the stores. Oh, yeah. I forgot you're a thief. Ah, mm. uh, bells of hell. Go ding a ling ling. Oh, yeah. You're not for me. <coughs> you know how my old dad used to make the scrumpy? Oh, uh, from apples, I have. When he had the apple juice all cast, before he put the lid on, he'd throw in a quart of brandy and a dead rat. Oh, oh, disgusting. It was skinned, of course. I should hope so. <laughs> oh, death, where is thy sting a ling, -ling. Oh, grave thy victory. <laughs> <laughs> The next person to get this is the first one that brings me Millwall's kit box. Here's to life. Strange. When I kissed you during the play, it felt all right. <laughs> because it was someone else. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Oh, well. I don't have to pretend to be anyone. You just be yourself. Can I? Yeah. Someone's coming. Linden. Hello, Charlie. Dyer wants you up the dorm. What does he want me for? Hello, Charles. All right. I wonder where these had got to. They were doing me. How about this then, Charlie? I quite like this. 
might steal it for myself. Yeah, I'll take that. You really do take the piss, Dal. So where'd you get it? None of your business. So fuck off. <laughs> I know what I'd quite like to fuck. Well, come on then. Why don't you? Oh, yeah. You're a little bastard. What's the matter? You're not man enough. Hey? You dirty little. <laughs> Bend him over. Oh, no, 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 you're Back off! Back off! Back off! Get off me! Get off! Liz! Liz, get out! Liz, get out! What? Get out! It's all right. It's all right. No, 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 it's all right. Oh, let, oh, let me out. I want to get out. Leave her alone, oh, Dal. The door. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Let me go. Leave her alone, Dal. Just do as you're told. Be quiet, eh? You bastard. Let her go, Dale. Dale! Dale, let her go! Hey! Right. Uh. Uh. Stop! Brendan, stop it! Get off of me! Brendan. Brendan. Don't leave me, Brendan. Please. What's the matter? Lost your hard ones, have ya? And he assaulted another boy. I have no choice. You devoted your whole life to saving these wretched boys, and now you have one worth saving, and you're going to throw him away. Because rules are rules. Precious rules always mattered more to you than I did. That's simply not true, Elizabeth. No. We'll prove it. Bend your precious rules for me. All right, Bean. Joining me ship. We see that. Where are you headed for? Singapore. Singapore? Yeah. <laughs> Can't get much further away from the Germans than that. No. <laughs> yeah. Oi, when you're John Natter and we do have a war to fight, you know. Aye, aye, sir. Well, uh... I'll see you. Yeah. 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 To our China. Yeah. It's gonna be...
too late We can wait for another day So we just can't wait anymore Yeah, this is do or die For you and I Is this the end? See, chaps, Brendan, do you know what I've just realised? What's that? The importance of being earnest. Get on the bus. Right. Take it easy, Brendan, mate. Good luck, Albert. Keep You're hopeless. I'll try the next line. Oh, lad, that that I lo love, loved, loved, loved. Yeah. Well, the lad that I loved. Do you know how a man can love another man? No, just you know. But love. Do you love your father? <laughs> I hate the bastard. I love my wee brother. You love a man then, don't you? Ah, that's not the same thing. It is, you know. It's not fair. I won't show you a portrait unless you share your writing with me. But I'm in your painting. And I'm not in your writing. You, you wouldn't understand it. Try me. Blas Maradova, Teresh Boschti, Herr Warren Schleva. Tustan Frizun, Fat Alor and a Trainak, Cougar Gaira Bertlanon, Donaineron. That's it. Give it to me in English. No. Oh. Teach me some Gaelic then. No. But at least tell me what it means. Called a weakness, which means loneliness. The tang of blackberries wet with rain on the hilltop. In the silence of the prison, the clear whistle of the train, the happy whispering of lovers to the lonely one. It's not bad. It's much better in Gaelic. <laughs> it's wonderful, Brendan. It is, it's wonderful. Teach me some more, then. Yeah. <clears throat> A weakness. A weakness. Clues. Clues. Clues, Ella. Clues, Hannah. A hane, a doe. A hane, a doe. Sue. Sue. Sue Lella. Sue Lella. A hane, a doe. A hane, a doe. Shron. Shron.
Bam. of the devastation wrought by Japan's sneak attack on Pearl Harbor are still being released by the United States government. America was not at war. No danger was thought to be within a thousand miles of Hawaii. Aye, aye. The Japanese bombs did tremendous shy. damage to American sea power, which was based upon yeah. Pearl Harbor. The result, of course, mm. has been disastrous. Meanwhile, Britain faces the shocking news that she, too, has been the victim of oriental deceit. Attacks have taken place at Hong Kong and Malaya. Most shocking of all is word of the loss of the pride of the Royal Navy, HMS, Prince of Wales. Caught in the waters of Singapore, the gallant ship put up an heroic defense before succumbing to the overpowering air attack. First reports point to the tragic loss of the entire ship's company, 2,000 men and boys. 9,000 tons, 10, 14 inch guns. She lies on her side, capsized after the bombing. Ram. Stay away from me. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's... It's all my fault. No, no, it's not your fault. Listen to me. It's not your fault. It's not... Charlie said to give it to you. He said we'll keep. He said we'll keep you safe. No. <laughs> right. We're prepared to grant you an early release. But to do that, we need you to denounce the IRA. I tried betrayal. It doesn't suit me. You see, Brendan, we need an undertaking that you've stopped fighting us. I'll promise not to take up arms against England until you finish this bastard, Hitler. Beyond that, I reserve me options. I'll need that in writing. I can't do that. Boston boy's word is good enough for me. Thank you, sir. Oh. 
tell you, see me? Are you not a laughing boy? I was brought up to hate the English. I had to come here to learn about love. And what did you learn about love? It's much stronger than hate. I learned that from you and Charlie. Well, I had it both ways. Just like Oscar Wilde. <laughs> You were right. What's the point? No, not to me. Right. For everyone. <clears throat> Sloan. Expulsion order. Are you Brandon Bean? Um. And how far is your order over? Kurumaga. It would be wonderful to be free. Must. Too late if we wait for another day. Some things just can't wait anymore. Yeah, this is do or die for you and I. Is this the end of the road? For your sweet talking.
Thank you.